Uh, this one's for both of you. Uh, Brandon, you can go first if you want. Was it ever confusing trying to remember when each gym spoke in each scene? <laughs> yeah, it was. Getting there, we didn't know who would speak uh, first. So um, I noticed right away that I was gym number two. So if I read the script and I focused on uh, gym two lines, and I'd always follow, uh, I'd always follow Nasty, gym number one. So if he, uh, if he said and spoke, I knew I was next. So they kept it, <laughs> they kept it pretty easy for the gyms. Awesome. John? Yeah, I, actually, Jordan was my go-to guy. He was the one. I didn't really study the scripts. So I'm an old school guy. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I, I found that I followed Jared Kiso a lot, right? So when, when Jared Kiso would, would be speaking, it was kind of good, too, because he'd always look at me and, you know, acknowledge that I was up. So, um, yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. But being the three gyms was definitely a different different experience to, to be able to know our, know our roles, right? Yeah. And did you know that, like, going in that you would all be gym? Or was that one of your ideas? Uh, well, when, when I first got the transcripts, I looked and they, we seen three gyms, right. And I didn't, but it, yeah, so it was a bit confusing at first, but now that you watch the storyline and the, and the story, it, it makes it quite funny and, and, uh, enjoyable. Awesome. And, and Brandon, what was it like working with your brother on the show? Oh yeah, it was awesome. I mean, uh, just anytime we get together with my brother, uh, we do a lot of work in our indigenous communities. So anytime uh, we get a chance to get together, it's always fun. And this is no, like, this was no exception. This, this was absolutely an amazing experience, uh, getting to work with my brother, then, uh, nasty and a couple of other guys on, on set and obviously Kiso, just a genius. So, uh, we definitely, we had a lot of fun in those, uh, six weeks in Sudbury. Awesome. I think to, to add into that too, I think it was great because, you know, having, you know, obviously I never met Brandon or Jordan, you know, through our careers, but we obviously knew who each other were. Mm-hmm. Uh, it made the transition to, you know, we're first time actors where, you know, it was nice because it was almost like a hockey setting, being on the road with a bunch of guys, you know, visiting in dressing rooms and, and, and in the rooms and hotel rooms. So it was really a good transition to have all three of us and, and a couple other guys. And like Jerry's almost a hockey guy, too. So it really made it easy for us. That's awesome. And uh, John, you know, you got into a lot of fights in your hockey career and there's a fair amount of fighting in the show. Uh, did your real life scraps kind of prepare you for those scenes? <laughs> I got in trouble a few times because they always said <laughs> what about 30 percent and uh when i when i when i fight i don't have 30 percent. so i think we might have accidentally cut a few guys open while we were trying to uh do the imitation fights but uh yeah i mean obviously i think jared brought us in for a reason to make the fights look a little bit more real and uh you know so they were more you know a lot of a lot of these hockey shows you watch the fights don't really they look fake you know so Mm -hmm. i Jared did a really good job of bringing us in and being able to explain how to make it more of a real fight or how you do in that scenario. So, uh, yeah, but, uh, I think the biggest challenge I had was trying to go 30% when I'm only used to going hundred <laughs> percent. That would be tough. And, uh, you know, Brandon, following up on that, uh, were a fair amount of creative liberties taken when portraying the hockey games or was it pretty realistic to the thing when you're on the ice? Oh yeah. It was super realistic. Um, like I remember filming, the the one with, uh, with, with, with some of the scenes, like, I don't want to give any spoilers, but like so, something would happen or, or we'd like film something. And it was like, holy man, like that looks really real. And then uh, just some of the stuff like, so we're all mostly, mostly all hockey players uh, trying to act. So they didn't uh, find actors trying to make them hockey players. Um, they went, went out and got uh, real hockey players. So the hockey aspect of the show is like totally real, totally, uh, totally relatable. Um, so it looks like really crisp and clean. And I think a lot of the, the diehard hockey fans, um, not only of Letterkenny, but hopefully new, new Shorzy fans here are going to absolutely love the hockey. That's awesome. And I'm, I'm Canadian too. So I, I really liked how the locker room scenes felt completely accurate to a real locker room. Were, were you guys, you know, was it a lot of improv or was that all scripted? I think we, you know, like, like Jared, like we said about Jared, he's really good at, at that, that area of hockey, you know, so uh, having all us hockey guys in there, we were even switching our stalls around how it made it more realistic, you know, how we did it when we played pro hockey and stuff. So having a, a group of guys that have actually played the game and, and, and have been there really helped and, and improvised and made the, made it a, a very interesting show. Awesome. And John, now that you've given acting a try, are you interested in pursuing more roles? <laughs> Oh, it's, it was definitely an experience. That's for sure. Um, you know, and, and, uh, Jordan and Brandon and I have all spoken. Yeah. It's something fun and, and, uh, something that I definitely would keep trying to continue to do not getting any younger though. Um, but, uh, 
but it was a lot of fun. And like I said, I really appreciate Jared bringing us on. It was a great time. Awesome. And Brandon, what were your thoughts when you were first approached to be a character on the show? Yeah, I've said it a couple of times. I honestly thought it was a joke. Uh, one of the one of the producers, uh, Kara, reached out to to myself about uh, my brother and Jordan being on the show, and she just mentioned like I knew what Letter Kenny was. I knew how big it was, and she said we're going to create a Letter Kenny spinoff called Shorzy. Uh, would you guys be interested? So I'm like, I called my brother like right away. I'm like, we just got asked to be on this new spinoff Letter Kenny show. Um, I think it's a joke. I think someone's messing with us. And then we just ended up talking to Kara a bit more, and then found out more about like the show and how they wanted um, myself and my brother and nasty, the three germs all together, be a part of the show. And uh, like after reading it and Kara explaining uh, how they envisioned the show to be, it was just like, like, wow, like so honored to be asked to be part of something really cool. So um, yeah, I just started off as a joke and then um, I'm glad I, uh, I'm glad I took the call and took it seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It turned out for sure. And, yeah. uh, and John, you know, you've had a horse farm, you've owned a Tim Hortons, you've played hockey, you've acted, are there any other career avenues that you're really interested in checking out? Yeah, I, man, of many careers. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I'm just enjoyed it time at a time. And like I said, I take everything for, you know, the day that I'm there. And uh, it's it's fun, you know, those all prepare me for the stuff that I do nowadays. And it's awesome. But, you know, horses, like you said, is my passion. So I uh, I really focus on that and and uh, just keep giving her. Awesome. going to be a model next. <laughs> yeah. I said, I'm better looking than Brandon. So, uh, (laughs) (laughs) and, uh, Brandon, which job has more pressure, hockey or acting? Oh, geez. That's a tough one. I mean, I always felt pressure with hockey just because you wanted to perform well. And I mean, I always had some level of pressure every game just because you wanted to be great when you played hockey. So, but with acting like that was, it was really tough, especially at the beginning. Um, I remember like the first, day two three days um Kiso would like run his lines and I'd just be there like beside him but the hardest thing was like trying not to laugh like that was for me trying not to laugh was the hardest thing mm-hmm. and after day two I'm like how am I gonna do this not mess up the scenes to laugh so for me I felt a lot of pressure like trying not to laugh at, at the jokes that would be said because sometimes he'd say things that that uh, didn't end up making the show or he wanted to try like a new scene or a new way to do it and it's just like I was dying inside so for me that was like the toughest part and a lot of pressure not to laugh <laughs> That I, that makes sense for sure. And uh, for both you guys, and uh, we'll start with John, I guess. What's your uh, what's your favorite Tim Hortons order? <laughs> uh, double double. That's what I usually go to. That's my go to. Double double and the steak and egg sandwich. That's a good. That's mine too, Brandon. Yeah, just a simple medium regular, and uh, got to go with an apple fritter. So um, if I get those two on a daily basis, I'm a happy man. Awesome. And so, you know, Brandon, you had heard of Leonard Kenny. John, had you heard of Leonard Kenny before the show or are you a fan? I was kind of laughing at Brandon's story. I was the same thing when I, when I was first approached by Kara, I thought it was a joke and I, I, I'm not much of a TV guy. So I, I, I'll be honest. I didn't know what Letter Kenny was until, uh, uh, you know, I told my wife and she Googled and she goes, Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, now that I, that, now that I'm fully aware of it, I, I can't believe the popularity it has, you know, even local guys in my hometown can't believe, Oh, you're part of Letter Kenny or the Shorty show. And, and, uh, you know, so it's actually a very popular show, but I guess I'm just too stuck on the farm and hunting and being a cowboy that I, I don't get to, uh, to experience the, the television that much. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, thank you guys for, for everything. Uh, the, the show is great. You're both hilarious in it and the gyms are, uh, I hope to see a season two with more of the gyms. <laughs>